On October 4, 1981, Toei kickstarted a new programming block that would focus on one-shot stories with a focus on strange characters and stories with an element of mystery. Featuring characters created by Shotaro Ishinomori, scripts by Yoshio Urasawa, and produced by Toru Hirayama, this new block would eventually come to be known as the Toei Fushigi Comedy Series. The Toei Fushigi Comedy Series is made up of 14 different shows representing three distinct phases throughout its broadcast history, which started in 1981 with Robot H-chan and ended in 1993 with Yugen Yiko sisters Shushu Torian. Shushu Torian was originally scheduled to end with episode 39, but due to some broadcast scheduling changes, three additional episodes were produced. This opened up an opportunity for a crossover that would deliver one last great story of mystery and strangeness for the Toei Fushigi comedy series. This crossover opportunity was sparked by a collaborative work between Toei, Tsuburaya Productions, and Bandai in early 1993. Super Battle Ultraman vs Kamen Rider released on July 21st, 1993 as an original video-only release, this documentary and short movie combo was the first time that these legendary characters had appeared on screen together. It also opened the door to future collaborations by these companies, which would next materialize with the ending of the Toei Fushigi comedy series and episode 40 of Shushu Torian. As it happened, Suburaya Productions' sales manager at the time, Kasuo Suburaya, was a fan of the Shushu Torian TV series and proposed a collaboration to Toei producer Jun Hikasa during the promotional launch of the Ultraman vs. Kamen Rider video. The core idea would be for Ultraman to appear side by side with the sister trio. While Toei was already in the final planning stages for the end of Shushu Torian, they quickly rewrote one of the final extra episodes to allow for the story to be produced. While Toei focused on the story and production, Suburaya prepared for this work by reopening their old Suburaya production offices and recruiting some of their employees to appear in supporting roles. In addition to Ultraman, the company would also contribute several monsters to the production, including Alien Balton, Garamon, Elekin, Data, Gomora, and Kaiju Bosuka. Susumu Kurobe would also appear in the episode as the monster uncle. The result of this partnership was unveiled on October 17, 1993 with the premiere of episode 40 of Yugen Yiku Sisters, Shushu Torian, I Want to Meet Ultraman. The story opens with a shooting star dashing across the night sky and the sisters making a wish upon it. Tsukiko's wish is to meet her hero, Ultraman, which leads to a mysterious light crashing into an old Suburaya production building and catching the attention of its custodian. During the next day, the family is surprised when Alien Bolton suddenly appears during breakfast. This is followed by mysterious appearances by Garamon at the mall, Ella King at a video game arcade, and Bosca at a ramen shop. Osuka ends up befriending the Yamabuki sisters and takes them to Suvoraya's office where they meet the monster uncle, the keeper of the old monster costumes that are kept in storage. Bosuka then shares that Tsukiko's wish brought him and other monsters to life, and unfortunately, some of the other monsters are running amok in their town. The monster uncle asks the sisters to help him round them up so that people won't end up hating the monsters for creating real-world trouble and destruction. However, after successfully rounding them up, Bolton appears, taking control of the monsters. He wants to use them to help him take revenge on the humans for eating his fellow lobsters. 
this leads to a prolonged battle between the monsters and the Shushutorian sisters, and while at first they are successful in containing them, Bolton suddenly grows to a giant size form that they are unable to fend off. Desperate for help, the sisters ask for help from Ultraman. This leads to the triumphant appearance of Ultraman, who arrives to save the day back with the cheerful sounds of his original theme song. To help him in the fight, Ultraman uses his powers to make the sisters giants who can fight side by side with him against Bolton. By combining their powers, they are able to defeat Bolton and return the monsters away from the real world. Several days later, Tsukiko went to visit the monster uncle, but it turns out he had also disappeared. While visiting the storage warehouse one last time, she does end up seeing him and Boska, but after a brief moment they disappear and she walks away from the old warehouse one last time. Compared to other crossover stories and episodes in Toei's universe of tokusatsu programs, it would be fair to say this collaboration was decisively more lighthearted and intentionally fun. The way in which Suburaya's monsters were used never really conveyed a sense of true danger for the in-universe world. And the final battle between Bolton, Ultraman, and the Shushutorian sisters is fairly simple and low stakes. Where the story succeeds is in having fun with the interactions between these characters and paying homage to Tsuburaya's legendary kaiju and Ultraman. It also provides an initial view into real-world behind-the-scenes moments with it being staged at Tsuburaya's old production offices. Seeing the costumes inside the warehouse, the old signage, and the core is almost like opening a forgotten time capsule of memorabilia. If you're a fan of the Ultraman series, this episode of Yugen Jiko Sisters Shushutorian is a highly recommended watch. Fans of the classic Ultra Monsters, actor Susumu Kurobe, and the cultural wrap around the company's productions will absolutely enjoy how they are incorporated into this one-of-a-kind TV production.